And before we get into the main topic of this vlog, I have been getting asked a couple questions about 75 times, so I thought that I would first elaborate on them. Despite what most believe, I'm not 13, I'm actually 17. I, I don't know where that's coming from, maybe I look 13, I'm not really sure. But I'm 17 and I'm going to be a senior in high school. And if you want to know more fun facts about me, then go check out my profile on Famous Birthdays. Okay, so now, here's the real vlog. A lot of you guys have asked me to make a vlog on dating advice and a couple other things like that. So I decided that I was going to make a vlog on the eight different types of guys you're going to date in high school. Spoiler alert, it's not as great as you I'm going to start off with something that I like to call the gamer. The name kind of describes it all, but basically this is someone who cares more about their video game than socializing with you or looking at you or like doing anything with you. So what are we doing later? Christian. Christian! The next kind of guy is the jokester. Now, this is someone who could be a really good friend, you know, they're always pretty positive, maybe slightly immature, but you know, you're always like, oh, they're so funny and everything, like, that's great, except for when you want to have a serious conversation, because they can physically not do that. Dog just <laughs> At least you don't pick up dog crap anymore. The second you try to be serious with them, they just, you know, make an immature joke or just sit there with like blank stare, like. The next type of guy is something that I like to call the innocent. So this is someone who's probably never had a girlfriend before, very shy in general, and just scared to do anything. Like, probably don't have much to talk about because they're not really great at carrying out conversations and kind of socially awkward. <laughs> the next one, we've all been there before, is the dumb hot guy. So this is someone that like whenever you look at them they're just so pretty that you're just like, huh? but they're just so stupid <laughs> that you just don't know what to do and you, you like try to help them, you try to just be like, no sweetie, that, that's not right. And you want to teach them and you do your best, but at the end of the day, sometimes you can't deal with the dumbness. Can you help me with my math homework? Yeah, okay, so you're adding, so like, do you know how to add? Okay, so it's like counting on your fingers, so it's like, 2 plus 2 would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, because you add 2. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay, so do this one. What's 7 plus 3? 13. <laughs> but at least they're pretty. This next guy is the exact opposite of that, and is something I like to call the brainiac. This can get pretty annoying. Always correcting your grammar, always elaborating on things you didn't ask to be elaborated on. So yesterday when I was singing, I did really good and Actually, then... it's really well. You're interrupting my story. Which version of your? 
Y-O-U-R-E or Y-O-U-R. Why does it matter? Because it's correct grammar. Basically just outsmarting you and whenever you think that you're like doing really good or think you're saying something smart, they're just like, actually that's wrong. This scientific, you know, and then you're just like, you're making me look stupid. You're really sweet, like you're smart and like that's so awesome, but I, I feel like a rock <laughs> sitting next to you. This one, <clears throat> a little disrespectful, okay, the ladies man or whatever else mean word you would like to use, they're all appropriate. This is the guy that, you know, is very flirty, very talkative. He seems like the dream, and then you find out he's been with everybody in the school. And you're like, oh, okay. And then most girls, what they try to do is be like, oh, well, I'm going to be the one that, like, changes him, and we're going to be together, and, like, all stuff, and, like, I, because I'm good enough for that, but, like, he, he's just a rude, a rude person, and then you end up having your little heart be broken. It's a very sad time. I promise I'm the only girl you're talking to. You are. Aww. Hey, babe. Who is that? No one. He's a jerk, basically. So, the last type of guy today is the one that you never actually talk to in person. And what I mean by that is, you know, you guys talk on like Snapchat or you only text and you have awesome conversations, you talk the entire day and you're like, oh my god, they seem like so fun, we have so much in common, everything is just so great. But then when you see each other in person, you're just like... and you just have a very awkward time, neither of you know what to say, it's just not good. I mean, not good. But you have nice text conversations. Okay guys, so I hope that was some sort of enlightenment for those of you who are gonna be getting into the high school dating world, or for those of you who are in the high school dating world. And if you guys have dated any of the guys in that category, comment down below because I would love to hear your stories and you know sometimes it actually does go well but these are just more of the disappointments <laughs> uh, let, let's take it slow if you dated a guy who was not mentioned on this list also let me know in the comments down below and share your story okay guys so that's all for today I hope you enjoyed this vlog and took something away from it, or learned a life lesson, there were no, there were zero life lessons in this. Also, I just wanted to take a moment to share about my debut EP, I'm Done. Very exciting. Some of the videos are here on YouTube, and you can download that EP at iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, Deezer, Google Play. I think that's all of them, but I could be forgetting. As always, remember to click the subscribe button, and when you subscribe, hit the bell right next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post a new video. Leave a comment down below, and hit the thumbs up button. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!